traders, here's a new video. First of all, a risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not investment advice. So this video is another technical analysis, candlestick chart or uh, online trading video where I'm going to explain those trades which I have already done because we have weekend and I do not have the OTC market because I'm a European trader. And so I'm uh, explaining those trades which I have done more in detail based on the technical analysis expect aspect and the aspect of the candlestick chart analysis yes and uh, overall um, the price action obviously because there should be no entry without um, the price action yes because price action should be the signal to enter into a trade and not any kind of indicator or something else so okay uh, um, all those things which i'm explaining are those uh, are based on those things which i have explained in my ebook get this ebook it's for free you find the link in the description this ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern chart pattern and binary option turbo trading concepts market condition trade identification rejection and candlestick mass and a lot of more concepts which can be applied to any kind of time frame and any kind of financial instrument. Um, yes, there's those things which I have explained in my ebooks are important. Yes, you should know them all uh, because, uh, yes, I don't know if you will use all. I don't know this. Yes, because it depends obviously from your trading style. But uh, you should know all of them because you can t pick them, pick them this kind of part which are. Uh, perfect for you and uh, yes and that could be then applied in your trading style and then you will complete your trading style so okay let's see uh, what's going on uh, let's start with the video so here we have that market you see we have here a double top forming uh, that is important because we have here a double top uh, we are have here more than one double top we have we have a double top here Yes, you see here it's a double top. We have another double top in this bigger picture here. Yes, you see uh, that here this area is at, uh, that are two double tops. Yes, and if uh, you would watch here, you would see maybe another double top. But this is uh, the main the main part. Yes, you see here this area is a strong resistance area here. Yes, and uh, this is also here the neckline of this double top is here. Yes, where you see. We got this, what I have explained in the ebook, and the market was in an uptrend. You see here that was an un uptrend, uptrend, yes, and now we are getting here in some kind of consolidation area. And I have shown you and uh, and um, ranging area, and I have shown those you this so often. Yes, uh, after an uptrend you get a ranging part, and after this you get mostly a reversal. Yes, and that is on the bigger picture on the 15-minute chart. You see here a double top uh, forming, which uh, is showing already that there would be maybe some kind of upcoming downtrend. Yes, that is what. Uh, uh, it looks like that is what the uh, uh, market condition is telling and you see also here that um, yes that is uh, almost ranging here. okay so let's see uh, I will stop the video as soon there will be uh, coming up some kind of trade so let's see what's happening here so okay uh, I entered here immediately into a put why uh, and that is based on uh, that what I have told you. I don't uh, was expecting here this double uh, double top with neckline. Yes, that this that doesn't matter. Important here is that price got after this pullback again at this level and at this level. Uh, after we got here this double top yes for those one who do not see this and not only this double top we have we have here also a pullback that is what i have explained in the ebook yes you get a breakout then you get a pullback and then we got here the continuation of this downtrend after the pullback and uh, because of this pullback yes uh, and the second touch of the 50 ema which you see in form of a pin bar Yes, you can see uh, uh, how, uh, yes, that was the reason why I entered here into this trade. This pin bar broke through the 50 EMA, is showing here selling pressure. And that's the reason why I entered here into a put, because I was expecting that price would heading down. To this comes 
that we have here ranging market. We didn't touch the uh, two deviation Bollinger Band. This uh, candlestick shows that we have still a strong selling pressure and uh, the 20 EMA is pushing down. As you see, we are going to cross the uh, 20 EMA, uh, the middle Bolling, uh, 20 SMA, the middle Bollinger Band. Okay, so that is this one. So let me see what's happening. One second. Okay, so and uh, that was the reason why I entered here into a put, yes, because this candlestick pattern in the complex context told me that price will heading down. So, and that was the reason. Why. Let's see what's happened here. And uh, as you see, the 20 EMA is crossing the 20 SMA. And uh, yes, and uh, it's, uh, the Bollinger Bands are almost opening, yes, which shows that we are getting here into a breakout. Price is heating down, yes, and um, uh, get a little rejection. So now we are getting into the per case time, yes, and then you see price is moving further down almost in the last few seconds of the expiration time, in this time where you cannot act anymore. Yes, and that is uh, what's often happening. And let me see, yes, I'm pointing now here the next stop. Yes, that is what um, I'm expecting here, the top of the candle. Yes, because that is uh, what's called uh, extreme level, yes. Um, the last time it was 15 minutes ago. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 15 minutes ago. And uh, yes, and this would be an extreme level. And you see, we got a um, push downwards. Yes, and I'm having still the bottom on the... Uh, push uh, on the put button, yes, you have seen. I will uh, repeat this again, yes, you see here that I was waiting on the uh, lower button, yes, that price would retrace back to this level and then I entered. That is what I mean with uh, trying to get the best entry point, yes, because if you are so close to any kind of support and resistance level, and also in this case the 20, uh, the 100 EMA, you um, have to try to get the best possible entry point, yes, uh, because price can retrace back in the last few seconds of the expiration time uh, above this uh, entry point, and then you get uh, um, out of the money in the last second, yes, or by hair. Yes, both of those are really bad because they will... Uh, uh, act uh, really uh, uh, attack you uh, really on the emotional emotional base yes because if you get uh, out of the money by hair you uh, get frustrated if you get uh, an out of the money last second you get frustrated too if you are not experienced and that's only by uh, choosing the wrong entry point yes so I can only say avoid entry points if you are not sure that this kind of entry points are uh, sure uh, and uh, uh, you don't get the best entry point if price would not have gone above this level to this level again yes I would have not entered into this trade so uh, that was this one uh, let me see what uh, then happened so we got a rejection now from the 200 EMA yes and then we got another movement downwards below the 200 EMA. You see, we are getting here, that what I have explained once, we get a breakout now. There's a strong breakout. And now I'm applying the Fibonacci level. You see where I apply the zero, uh, the 100 to the zero to get the Fibonacci extension. That what I have, uh, um, yes, what I have uh, shown you on the Fibonacci levels, uh, Fibonacci deep explanation videos, yes, uh, uh, applying uh, the extension to understand where this kind of, um, yes, where this candle will stop, yes, where uh, there should be some kind of retracement or where ca can be a continuation. You see, I was doing, uh, preparing to do a call. That is important, yes, you see, and then after this I understood that there would be no call, yes, that it would be a put. And why I did understood this? Because this is nothing else than the bot sure shot 8, yes. If you um, have seen my high probability trading setups, uh, the bot sure shots, yes, this is bot sure shot 8, yes, based on, um, uh, on the breakout um, of the 161.8 Fibonacci level. Uh, the other one is this one on the 261.8. 
And important here is that we got here this long wick, which penetrated already the distance here, a long distance to the 261.8 Fibonacci level, which uh, shows that price was trying already to get to this level, beyond this level. And then also the breakout here, uh, which is with determination, it's not a close breakout like this one, for example. This one here at the 38.2 is a fake breakout. Yes, you see how, how small it is, yes? Uh, small uh, or uh, only close, uh, too close to this. If it's got here this kind of mana, it, it, is, uh, it breaks through this with determination that it's clear. This here, for example, is also only a close one. It's not a determination breakout, yes? It doesn't break this level with determination. It's only a close, yes? That is a different which, um, which, which one you can uh, um, um, distinguish. A uh, good breakout, yes, a continuation pattern uh, setup instead of a reversal trading setup, yes, uh, only by this breakout. Obviously, you should have also the support and resistance levels and the EMAs and everything should tell you this. For example, here, I have explained this already. If you get this kind of 20 EMA, which is going down in this kind of manner, yes, and crossing every kind of... Uh, other EMAs or SMA, yes, the middle Bollinger band and the 20 EMA and everything the else, yes, and also the other ones are pointing down in this manner so fast, you can expect that you have a really strong downtrend. But you should be really carefully and you should have some kind of support and resistance level above your level to get this, um, yes, to be much more in. Um, much, it's much more safer, safer for this, yes, because um, often it looks like it would be a breakout, but if there would be not such kind of uptrend before, yes, this downtrend here after this ranging is that what I have explained in the ebook. I can show you this after this. Yes, this is the reason why this trend is going down in this kind of manner because we got before this kind of uptrend. Yes, that is what you should understand and that is the reason why this is working out in this kind. I will show you this after this trade um, in the ebook. That is that part which I have explained already, the trading range. So, okay, and uh, here I entered into a put. It was obviously not the best uh, best uh, um, type of trade. Yes, um, you, I would enter now, yes, or a few seconds ago after the rejection from the 161.8, but because I have traded this kind of setups so often uh, and I'm really experienced with trading Fibonacci levels, yes, uh, I was uh, pretty much sure that price would go down further uh, because I have seen this kind of uh, um, yes, trading setups and the breaks through the 161.8 Fibonacci levels so often, yes, that I entered immediately into this put trade um, instead of waiting for any kind of rejection. But here's again the example, yes, it's almost better to wait for a rejection and to see if price is giving you a rejection, uh, you should trade this kind of trades almost with rejections. But if you also are, if you are experienced enough, you can do this also without rejection. But I can only say if you um, are not experienced, try always only with rejection. Because the rejection helps you, yes, if you are trading the rejection right. Obviously, if you are doing here um, uh, some trades and you are entering below, yes, the closing price of this previous bearish candle, uh, also a rejection cannot help you if price will retrace back and you get then out of the money. Yes, that is what uh, what is behind. Because mostly rejections will bring you in a bad position if you enter too late. Yes. That is the problem at this. So, what I want to show you was this one here. And you will see how this looks like because I want to show you the example here, this one. So, we got here an uptrend. Then we got here a trading range, a ranging market, yes. And after this ranging market, we see here a downtrend. And if you look at this, it's exactly the same like that what I have explained here. Let me show you this. Where do I have this? Uh, I think I have another example. Yes, it's almost always the same. Yes, um, yes, here, this one. We have an uptrend. Oh, let me show you this. This one here. We have an uptrend. 
then we got a ranging market, and then we got a downtrend. Yes, you see here, the, and if you look at this one here, you see uptrend, ranging, downtrend. Yes, uptrend, ranging, downtrend, and that is what about. And you see, uh, after I have zoomed out, you see how important this kind of impulse was. Yes, this was the most important. Why this? Carries this market gun down to this level because if you would apply here the Fibonacci level from the 0 to the 100, you would get here for sure the 61.8 Fibonacci level in relation to uh, from this point. Let me show you this from this point, yes, from this point to this point. This is the 100 here, this is the 100. This is a zero, then you get uh, almost here the 61.8 or vice versa. Yes, if you have here the zero and you have here the 100, you have then the 38.2. Yes, it's almost the same. I have explained this, but you see, it's here the 50. Yes, you see here's the 50 at the halfway, and so you have here the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Yes, and that is the reason why this. Uh, down movement was so strong, yes, because price moved down to this 61 to reverse, then upwards, then again to continue this kind of uptrend. Yes, that is what I tried to explain you in this video. Okay, that was already. If you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye bye.